Good afternoon, Abbotsford residents. I'm here in beautiful British Columbia, Abbotsford, BC. There's a GoFundMe, Democracy Being Challenged in Abbotsford. Please donate to that. That there is to go and get lawyers and legal representation after what Mike DeYoung and Ed Fast did to help Henry Brown load Ross Siemens in the election. An MP and an MLA are supposed to fight for our democracy. Instead, they were with Henry Brown in covering up organized crime. Henry Brown's hit and run threats, loading the election behind BC elections back, establishment that was being pulled down by Henry Brown's own son, Darren Brown. What they needed to do was load Ross Siemens. I'm here in beautiful British Columbia. In the last couple of weeks, I have released videos of what I would do when I was your mayor and what Ross Siemens needed to be loaded to do and the stuff that was taking place on Abbotsford residence. What was the most appalling thing I heard about when I was running for mayor was Archway Community Services, Rob San Diego. These luxury paychecks being rewarded to these people that are CEOs to help the vulnerable. And these CEOs were being paid handsomely, Rob San Diego. How that got caught was Rob San Diego's best friend, Andy Sadu, who owns the Capriccio newspaper with Dave Sadu, locked at the university and then had the university threaten me to remove me off the university so they could load Ross Siemens. Today, I'm on Ware Street, close by Ware Street. And I'm here, again, about Archway Community Services and why the NDP lady, Pamela Alexis, have did not stand up and topple what was taking place is because she was friends with one of the MLAs here in Abbotsford, Michael D. Jong. Michael D. Jong of the BC United is Pamela Alexis' best friend. So both of them won't counter each other or take each other on. You don't do me in, I won't do you in. Which is a wrong way to be sitting in as as an appointed official or a government official. You're here to stop corruption. Abbotsford has many youth on the streets and that there is the youth center. Archway Community Services got its hands in there for counseling and the money goes to it to help these young youth. Archway, Rob San Diego, is a laverick who made 26 million as a nonprofit organization, invested that money and made that profit off that money then went out and bought himself luxury homes and cars. Then Rob San Diego went out and bought real estate as a nonprofit. And Ross Siemens comes along, and what's the scam do? He waves his best friend's municipal taxes, and he's going to hit Abbotsford with a tax increase because Henry's vision. These youth, rather than getting counseling, the money should have been directly deposited to somebody that looks after them, like the churches, so they can get off the street and have shelter. Rob San Diego saw a plan. We'll get counseling and we'll get all this and we won't help them youth. It's very important that these youth would have a place for shelter and food versus Rob San Diego scamming. So what do we got? Let's keep them weak and let's keep them vulnerable and Rob San Diego will keep making money off of them. Let's not give them a lift up, give them shelter and give them food and then put them in programs that they can be on the workforce. These are young youth. These are not the very vulnerable, what we see on the streets of Abbotsford. These are very talented kids that can be in the construction industry and many labor programs that can be designed. It. Instead, Rob San Diego's taking advantage of this. Why it wasn't countered? Rob San Diego's in the establishment with the Marcus Dalvis, Michael De Jong, and the Henry Braun. This should have been stopped. But who should have countered this coming into the opposition was Pamela Alexis against the BC Liberals, which are the BC United. There's a big fight in Abbotsford, and the corruption is laid very deep because of Henry Brown was on the top, controlling it all, dictating to all the government offices locally here what should, and then using our private police. I outlined that it's no rumor that Corky Newfield will be stepping forward for the BC Conservatives and I'm going to announce who's running in mission for the BC Conservatives and who's running in Chilliwack. That there is to help them candidates get leverage over what Ken and Vicky Hopes was going to do to block them and only advertise Marcus Dalvis. Corky Newfield, if he's putting his hat in for that race as the Conservatives, his main objection would be to fight for our nurses that are very vulnerable and got dismissed and 
to fix this with Archway Community Services. Corky Newfield, if he's running, being the school trustee stepping down, would be knowing this, that it would be very important to get them youth into shelters and get them food and wipe out Archway Community Services. This is what needs to be taken place. This is what I was going to do as your mayor, and this is why I went to the former Premier Bill Vanderzak. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm live in beautiful British Columbia, Abbotsford, BC.